Today I'm going to present you the next generation of solar inverters and lithium-ion batteries. We are using in this uh, setup high voltage batteries with uh, solid hybrid uh, inverters. We set up these uh, uh, units here to work in a self-consumption uh, on a grid uh, application. It is not off-grid, you can set it up as an off-grid as well. But because we are connected to the national grid, all we want to do is to set up the inverter for self-consumption consumption only. Uh, Solis is working really well with the Pylon Tech Force uh, H2. This is a high voltage uh, lithium ion battery. A stack of four batteries is around 14.2 kilowatt hours and you can have six of them connected in parallel to form 85 kilowatt hours. The Solis Cloud is a nice uh, online platform where you can monitor the performance of your system. We will talk about it later. And here our Solis three-phase hybrid um, is uh, ready to work with our national grid. We connect it first with the battery, that's the positive and negative uh, connection. Very thin cables because it's a high voltage system. This is our Wi-Fi stick. The BMS cable is a straight Ethernet cable, 8 pins, straight in and out. It's a CAN bus communication. This is the Modbus signal from the energy meter. That's a very important uh, connection. You need to communicate with the energy meter that is connected at the incoming power supply of your uh, um, property. And there are three external CT uh, sensors on phases L1, L2 and L3. And the Modbus signal is connected here with two cables, positive and negative. So at any time, the inverter knows exactly how much energy your property uh, requires. We don't use off-grid at the moment, so this uh, socket is free. We are connected to the grid with uh, a five-core cable, L1, L2, uh, L3, neutral and ground. Now, let's uh, look at our uh, Solis Cloud. As I said, this is a self-consumption uh, facility, we generate electricity, we store it into the battery and when we start the discharge, we feed the energy from the battery to the load. In this case, because our battery bank is very small, it's only seven and a half kilowatt hours, we need to take a little bit of energy from the grid. So if you add up 1.8 kilowatts and 3.5 kilowatts, you get approximately 5.3 kilowatts and this is exactly how much our warehouse is consuming right now. Great advantages with the high voltage lithium ion batteries, they last significantly longer, 15 years or more, compared to the 10 to 12 years of the low voltage lithium ion batteries. And now I will show you very quickly how to set up the inverter in self-consumption mode. It's, a, it's, an, it's an easy process. You enter the menu, uh, the advanced menu, first of all, you set the password to 0010. You select the battery control, the battery is pylon, always. Then we scroll down to storage energy set. The meter set is uh, external meter with current sensors. STG mode select, self-use, it is on. The time of use, charging from the grid, we set it to run. We set the charge limit that is only a few amps, 10 to 20 amps. It's a low uh, current, high voltage system. The discharge limit the same. And now the charge time, very easy. And you have different modes. You have charge time one, two and three. You can set different uh, periods uh, in, the 40, in uh, 24 hours. In our case, we set it to 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. And then we save and exit. And that's it. The inverter is ready to uh, be used in uh, self-consumption mode. That's it from me right now. If you have any more questions, please get in touch with us and we are here to help you.